Welcome back to the Black and Gold Report. We're joined now by head women's soccer coach Lars Anderson. Coach, welcome to the show. Thank you. Uh, since the start of preseason, your depth chart has been hit pretty hard with various blows, the latest being a potential season and career ending knee injury uh, to goalkeeper Brittany Bennett in the final minutes on Saturday against Georgia College. The word snake bitten comes to mind immediately, but talk about the challenges you have faced this season with managing this team. Well, I think um, injuries happen, and in my coaching career, I've uh, coached for 20 years. Uh, I've gotten my fair share of breaks, uh, so uh, we're just going to have to deal with it. We're going to have to use the uh, next man up uh, mentality, and uh, unfortunately, we <laughs> ran out of goalkeepers. We'll have to have uh, hand the goalkeeping gloves uh, to a field player the remainder of the season. Uh, but um, uh, again, uh, you know, the, the great thing about the peach belt on the women's side is the fact that uh, the winner of the conference tournament still has an opportunity uh, to make it in the national tournament and until the final whistle blows on the conference tournament uh, uh, you're not out of it so that's a mentality we have to have and uh, we're going to do our best to make sure that we uh, play for the shield as we say in soccer and, and that we play with pride and that people walk away knowing that we did the best with uh, uh, the injuries that, that we have had uh, to deal with. Well, we've touched on this briefly the last time you were on the show, but with such a young team, do experience like this make your players mature a little bit faster, or is it more of a handicap and a learning curve for the freshmen and sophomores? Well, I think it makes uh, players and the coach mature uh, uh, you know, uh, a little bit faster. Um, these players understand the uh, challenges we face, uh, and, and they understand that we have to finish out the season. Uh, they also understand the bigger picture. This is a very young team. We'll be very good down the road. Uh, and um, in the meantime, we just have to make sure that we make do with what we have. But certainly, uh, we've had to grow up maybe a little bit faster than I initially anticipated at the start of preseason. Uh, well, when uh, your team has been hit so hard by the injury bug like yours is this year, do your goals change? I know you set the bar pretty high every year for your teams, but do you change your goals up a little bit now that you have key players out for the remainder of the campaign? Uh, well, again, uh, because uh, the women's soccer in the PBC has the automatic tournament uh, bid to the NCAAs, uh, uh, sure, our approach may change a little bit, but ultimately our goal is always going to be uh, to make our third tip, trip to the NCAA tournament, and until um, that is not a possibility, that will remain our goal. Now, from a tactical standpoint, uh, uh, we're obviously making a tremendous changes. Uh, we're going to have to play a much more defensive uh, style of soccer without a uh, quote-unquote true goalkeeper and goal, but, but our goal uh, for the season will not change uh, until the final whistle blows. You've repeatedly said that the Peach Belt Conference is the second or third toughest conference in NCAA Division II soccer. But what kind of role does a team's depth play into its success plan? And you've shown over the years that you don't necessarily have to be 16 or 17 players deep to grab a preseason berth. But what areas do you need to be fairly strong in? Well, I think obviously in some of the key positions, you have to have a great goalkeeper. You have to have a great center back. You, you must have players. Uh, uh, a number 10 uh, playmaking uh, central midfielder that can hold the ball, that can hit the right passes, that can find the forwards. Uh, and you must have a goal scoring uh, forward, somebody that can bag 10, 15 goals a season. Uh, but, but um, you know, we've tried uh, different recipes in 2008. We made the NCAA tournament. We had 26 players on the roster. 2010, we made the NCAA uh, tournament. We had 18 players on the roster. Uh, I think probably somewhere in between is what we're aiming for uh, for 2014. I like uh, the number 2022, 20, somewhere in there. Uh, well, you've been in the coaching profession for almost 20 years now. I know you said that this year has been one of your most challenging, but what sort of things have you learned about yourself this season, both personally and as a coach? Uh, well, uh, the word patience comes to mind. Uh, obviously, this, this uh, I wouldn't say it has been one of the most challenging. It has certainly been the most challenging year uh, of my coaching career. Uh, and I've uh, relied heavily on uh, uh, the team. I've relied heavily on my assistant coach, uh, uh, Pauline Privatera. I've spoken to some coaching colleagues that I've been around for, for 15, 20 years uh, just to get some advice because there's no, there's no coaching manual uh, to uh, tell you what to do when uh, your best player is uh, declared ineligible at the beginning of the season and your best center midfielder tears their ACL and your only goalkeeper tears their ACL. So, um, yes, we, we've uh, patience comes to mind. All right. Well, we're going to take our first break. And when we come back, we're going to continue talking to Coach Anderson. So stay tuned.
Must be basketball season coming up. Yeah, but we're just headed to class. I heard them at the library too. I guess we can't help it. Brave Nation is everywhere. Fans, UNC Pembroke basketball season is back. Ben Miller, John Haskins, and the Braves are preparing for the upcoming season and need your support. Season tickets are just $70 for a reserved seat. Plus, each package includes a seat behind the UNCP bench for the exhibition game in Chapel Hill against the North Carolina Tar Heels while supplies last. For tickets, call the box office or visit uncpbraves.com. Yeah.